to my channel. So I just want to let you guys know that my eyebrows are already done. These products will be listed down below. We're getting right into eyeshadow. This is the Morphe 35O palette, and I'm taking the first shade in the palette, and I'm going to be placing that on my brow bone as my brow bone highlight. You guys know the deal. It's the same thing every time. I always start with my brow bone, go into my crease with the transition color, and then I go from there. So I'm also going to actually be placing that all over my lid just to act as like a blank canvas, but it's not necessary. Then I'm going to go in with the second shade in this palette and I'm just going to highlight just at the very arch of my brow. You guys have seen me do this in the past as well. I just like to sometimes take a little bit of a shimmery color and just really highlight that arch of the brow. It just makes a little bit of a difference, but I don't like taking shimmer all throughout the arch of the brow or all throughout the actual underneath the brow. Then I'm going to take this shade that reminds me a lot of Soft Brown by MAC. It's just a little bit darker, but it's very similar. Very pigmented, this palette. I was here blending for a little while, but um, you're just going to be placing that in your crease and blending, blending, blending. Just continue to do like back and forth, windshield wipers. Do whatever works for you, just as long as you don't see any harsh lines, because that's the point of blending. Then we're going to go with this shade that reminds me of Swiss, Swiss Chocolate? <laughs> Swiss Chocolate or Brown Script by MAC. Um, I'm just giving you guys references because if you don't have this palette, maybe you have something in your collection that's similar um, as far as the colors go. So just like a warm, nice, chocolatey brown. And I'm putting this on the outer corner of my eye and then blending it into my crease to create depth and definition like I always do. And again, just blend, blend, blend. Then I'm taking this orangey shade. Um, this is probably similar to Rule by MAC. Rule is just a little bit more orange, but still it just gives a little bit of a color and warmth to the eye look. When you're building up with colors or blending colors on top of each other, it's just going to add more dimension and depth to the look like I said before and like I always say. So that's what I'm doing there. Then I'm going to take, I think this is the darkest brown in the palette, and I'm going to be adding this on my outer V. Um, just deepening up the look a little bit. I wanted to keep it mostly on the outer V of the eye. So I'm taking a smaller, more pointy brush for this instead of the fluffier brush that I was using before, which I use for all three eyeshadows prior to this eyeshadow. So um, don't have to get too crazy with brushes, but I am taking a little bit of a smaller brush just to make sure that the outer V is nice and defined and darkened. And of course, I'm going to go back in with that brush and blend one more time the brush that we used to begin with. Again, just you know, taking out the harsh lines, diffusing those lines, and blending all the colors together. Oh my god, this color from this palette is my favorite. You guys already heard me talk about this, but it is amazing. Do you see that pigment? Holy cow, obsessed with this color. It's so beautiful. So I'm just taking that color. Um, I don't even really know what is similar to this except maybe Makeup Geek's eyeshadow, the foiled eyeshadow in Starry Eyed. Maybe, but this doesn't have that much pink in it, and that one has a little bit more pink. Anyway, just placing that on your eyelid, and I did add a little bit of my NYX mattifying uh, face primer spray because I or setting spray because I didn't have my Fix Plus anymore. You guys know I don't have my Fix Plus. I'm dying to get it back in my life, but it wasn't really the best for it. I think Fix Plus works a lot better, but still just wet and it moistened it. Oh, I hate that word moist. I don't know why it just sounds weird, but I just wet the eyeshadow a little bit so it made it more metallic, but I don't even think this eyeshadow needs it, honestly. Then I went in with some eyeliner, which I have a tutorial on, so I'll have it listed down below for you guys. And now I'm just priming my face. So I'm priming my face with the, um, I think it's Dr. Brandt, um, pore filling primer. I had a sample of it you guys saw in my last video, so I just wanted to try it here. Then I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs foundation. I'm going to shake the baby up and I'm going to be dotting it all over my face. I am in the color 36 and you can see here that it. I am putting, I, feel, I don't think I use foundation in this little of an amount, but it is a very full coverage intense foundation and I don't want to feel cakey or heavy um, or have it feel heavy or cakey on my face. So I wanted to make sure that I only put a little bit and then I can go back and just add more. So I'm blending it in with my Morphe brush that you guys have seen in the past. And I'm going to be dotting more on my face now because I realize I might have just put a little bit too little, if that makes sense. But um, again, I'd rather start off with a little bit and then add on. That's with eyeshadows, with um, foundations, or anything like that, because you can always add. It's so much harder to remove. So here, I'm just pressing the foundation into my nose or my pores around there, and then on my forehead, I'm buffing it in as I did 
on the rest of my face. And then we're going to go into concealer because I know you can tell here that my eyes or my under eyes don't look so great. I haven't been sleeping that great. So I'm going to be taking my NARS uh, Creamy Radiant Concealer or Ramy Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is in the color Medium 1 Custard. I'm just placing that right underneath my eyes because I'm not really trying to highlight. So I just put a, you know, somewhat of a little <laughs> bit of amount underneath my eyes. And then I'm just going to blend it in with a damp beauty blender. I always forget to say that my beauty blender is damp. It does help to dampen it just to... Um, diffuse that product a little bit more. So just pressing that into my skin. And then to highlight, I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Age Rewind um, Corrector. This is a corrector by Maybelline <laughs> that you can find in the drugstore. I hauled this as well. And I'm putting that in all the places that I would usually highlight. This is in the shade Neutralize, so it is very yellow, which I prefer in my foundations, my concealers, my correctors, my highlighters. I like that yellow look. To me, that looks the best on my skin tone. So I am going to be highlighting here, like I said, and I'm using the same beauty blender just to spread that out and distribute it evenly throughout my face. There's nothing new here, no new techniques, same old. I actually don't have a highlight and contour video on my channel, so I might have to do that. Then I'm taking my YSL powder. This is, um, actually, I don't even know the name of this. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'll have it listed down below as well as everything else. You guys know that. I'm taking my Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush to just Put that right underneath my eye, set underneath my eye, make sure that my concealer doesn't move and it fills in my fine lines and all that. I'm not trying to bake. Um, I'm just really setting. If I put any excessive amount of powder, I'm really just dusting it off as I set. And again, I'm setting my T-zone as well with that same brush. Then I'm taking my contour shade that I always use, and this is the Chanel... Um, which is this? This is not Tanditional. I say this all the time and I can't believe I can't remember the name right now, but you guys know this. Uh, I think it's Le Beige Powder in number 50. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Again, I'll have it listed down below. I'm just using my Morphe contour brush to do so. This is like a domed contour brush that I always use and I'm just warming up the face and contouring at the same time. Then I'm going to go right into my next product, which is going to be highlighters. So the first highlighter is this Bobbi Brown highlighter in Apricot. And then I'm taking the NYX highlighter in Ritualistic. So I'm just layering them. Um, the Bobbi Brown one gives more of a sheen and the Ritualistic one gives more of like a gold kind of, I don't really know how to explain it, but I, I like them together. So that's why I did that. Get on my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, the huge. Then for my eyeliner, I'm taking this Kiko eyeliner in a brown shade. I think this is number two, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm going to be putting that in my waterline. I didn't want to do black because black can sometimes be a little harsh, and I wanted to keep this look very warm, and yeah, I just wanted to do brown. So I put that in my waterline, and then I'm going back to that same dark brown in the palette, and I'm going to be taking a nice flat brush and just pressing that along my lash line. So that way I can blend it out later. This is my way or this is the way I prefer to do it if I'm going to um, put a color on my lower lash line. I like to press it in with a flat brush and then blend it out with a fluffy kind of pencil brush, I guess you want to call it. So that's what I'm doing here. I might have a little bit of product on this pencil brush, just like a light brown, but nothing crazy at all. After that, we're going to go into highlighting the inner tear duct of the eye, and I'm taking the third shade in the palette. I'm like going down the row of the lightest shades in the palette, and I'm going to be just taking a small detail kind of um, fluffy, I don't know, little brush, and I'm just going to be popping that in the inner tear ducts of my eyes. And then, I forgot to get a clip of my mascara, but it's just the L'Oreal Telescopic, and I'm just popping that on my lower lash line or my lower lashes just to give some definition. The last thing that we're going to do is fill in our lips. So here I have Sore Lip Liner by MAC and Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Dusty Rose. So first, of course, I'm going to line my lips with Dusty Rose. And then I'm going to fill in with, um, or wait, no. First, I'm going to line my lips with Sore by MAC. And then I'm going to fill in with Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then you guys are done. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.